Dozens have marched on the front door of East Haven High School, where a board of education is holding their meeting about reopening schools. Right now, everybody's going back in full, and these teachers are calling for safety. They hope that the board will listen. What do we want? Safety. When do we want it? Now. Safety now. It's what led nearly 100 teachers and over 800 others to sign a petition asking the Board of Education to hear out their concerns. It's just a lot of exposure, and not even just in the classroom, in the lunchrooms, in the hallways. Samantha Ayanati is one of the many who marched with teachers in hopes of having a word with the board. Not only is she concerned about the limited communication with school officials about special education, she's also concerned about bringing the virus home. She has already lost a family member to COVID-19, has a father at high risk and a three-month-old son at home. There is no other option. I have to go to work. I carry our health insurance. Everything falls on me in that respect. Students will have the option to return to school in full or do remote learning. Teachers, on the other hand, feel they have no real options. They could take a year leave of absence without pay. They can resign or they can retire if they're of age, which isn't right to people who've put their, their heart and soul into this profession. The East Haven Board of Education is confident in their plan. They discuss what they call enhanced safety precautions that include cohorting students where they can. The problem with that is there is no social distancing. There's no way to do it. Like educators concerned about having to do more monitoring than teaching, bus drivers are wondering how they will keep students social distanced while keeping an eye on the road. It's very concerning because this, this is going to be difficult and I am afraid of getting it. One thing all the teachers have said here is that they want to be back in the classroom, but do so safely. Now they're less than a week away from full reopen and they just hope things are going to go smoothly. In East Haven, Dave Puglisi, Fox 61 News.